Hey guys, it's Snapple. Today I'm going to show you how to make your iTunes faster by five easy ways. First way to make iTunes faster is to reduce your clutter. And in iTunes, there's a lot of uh, clutter, and we're going to go clean it up. First off, you're going to want to go to View, and then View Options. Then you're going to get your all your columns that you could use for iTunes. Well, to make it faster, I always uncheck Genre, Plays, and Rating. So it takes away all that junk on the right hand side of the columns and just keeps it nice and clean. My next thing is to do is to hide the ping bar so it makes it even look better. That will help you uh, help your iTunes become faster to disable options that are not needed. So what you want to do is go to edit preferences. Now what you can do is take away genius uh, the iTunes DJ, the ping, you can get rid of the radio, I'll leave it. You can take away the apps, the podcasts, and uh, you can also, this, this helps out too, make the text larger, but it's optional guys, whatever you want to do. Next, go to playback and check off these guys, because we don't need them, unless you're in a band or anything like that, just get rid of those. Um, and check off this one down here. We don't need that either. The show captioning one available. Also, for in sharings tab, we don't need the share uh, libraries. Like we don't need to do that. Um, we're good with the parent control. <laughs> uh, now here's here's another uh, way to fast it up a little bit. You want to uncheck the AirPlay one because. I'm pretty sure none of us use that. And then I know this is going to be optional, but um, uncheck this one right here. Look for the iPod Touch and iPhone and the iPad remotes. Um, it just makes it a lot faster if you just uncheck that. And then that's it from there. Press OK and you're OK. Next thing you guys want to. Next thing you guys are going to want to do is the remove the smart playlist. Um, it's going to be on your left hand side of iTunes, right over here by Playlist. And where it says like the 90s music, the Untitled 1, Idol 2, just delete those. I keep the recent added because it's easy for me to uh, look up songs in the car. And it's just good, it's a good feature from iTunes. So just delete all those playlists that we don't need over here. I've, I've already done it. Uh, step number four, we're going to want to disable the automatic syncing of your iPod. So basically you go to your device and this is my sister's iPod jokes and we go and you're gonna wanna uncheck open iTunes when this iPod is connected and then you're gonna want to apply that setting. I know some of you guys are gonna say oh I like it when I plug my iPod in and then iTunes goes but it just makes iTunes so slow. So just start iTunes and then plug your iPod in. It makes it a lot, hell of a lot faster. Thing you guys are gonna want to do, it really helps. Is you want to get rid of those duplicate files. I know some people just copy stuff from Frostwire to the iTunes library from internet sites and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those duplicate files really easily. So you go to File and then you go to Display. Um, duplicates, you click on that and it should it should give you all the duplicates that you have but I don't have any because I've already done it already and once once you uh, that screen before I had it, it was all blank but it should have songs there if they're duplicates and you just right click on the one that you don't want and delete that song and then when you're done um, yeah over here when you're done uh, just uh, go back to your music or you go back and say display all again and that's really easy. Test it out 
check out my iTunes now. See how fast this sucker is. So I'm going to go click on my iTunes and see if it actually worked out well. And it's Windows, so Apple gets the advantage. And it comes out in about about five seconds quicker than it used to be. It used to come out like 10 seconds, now it's like five seconds. It helps. I have Windows 7. Um, and guys, just let me know if... If you want to know any, if you want me to do any more guides for yourself, I've been getting a lot of comments and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, just comment, rate, subscribe to me. My other video got taken down by Microsoft, and I'm going to try and get another video up soon. So, peace, guys. Good luck.